This recording will demonstrate the functions associated with viewing and managing establishment information in the Animal Drugs and Manufacturing System, or ADMS, database. The ADMS Establishments List is a tool used to manage the overall information on each establishment. It is separate from the ADMS Supply Chain, which is used to designate the role of each establishment. To view the ADMS Establishment List, click on Tools in the top menu, hover over ADMS Book, and select ADMS Establishments. This allows you to see all of the currently entered establishments. It also provides the functionality to search, sort, add, edit, and delete entries into the ADMS repository. The application also provides a helpful link to the eSubmitter Animal Drugs and Manufacturing Quick Guide that also provides additional instructions on using the ADMS book. Let's walk through each of the functionalities. To add a new establishment, select the New button at the bottom of the page. You are presented with a window with three tabs. We'll walk through the information on each. The first tab, Establishment, contains the information about the establishment name, DUNS number, FEI number, address, and phone numbers. Required fields are designated with a blue circle. You'll also notice light bulb icons throughout the page, which when clicked, provide helpful hints about the adjacent field. It is possible to have two establishments with the same name. However, the DUNS number must be unique. It is important to make sure the FEI and DUNS numbers are accurate. If you currently do not have an FEI or DUNS number for the establishment, the adjacent light bulb has a link which provides additional instructions on the application process. The DUNS number is required for all establishments in a submission. While the FEI number is not required at the time of submission, the absence of this information may hinder the timeline for assessment of establishment information. Information about the establishment can be manually entered here or copied from the General Application Establishment Book. This is especially useful if a number of establishments have already been entered into the Establishment Book. To copy information, select Copy from Establishment Book and select the establishment from the list. After inputting the establishment information, either manually or copied from the Establishment Book, it is important to verify the entered DUNS number will not add duplicate entries into the database. This is performed by selecting Check DNB DUNS Number. If a unique number is used, the form will confirm the acceptability of the information. If the same number is found in the database, the check will notify the user that the establishment cannot be added. At the end of the form, you also have the option of inputting any internal comments about the establishment. Adding internal comments allows you to capture additional information for overall management and identification of the establishment information. This information is not transmitted to CVM. To navigate to the next tab, you can either collect Next at the bottom of the form or select the Desired tab at the top of the form. On the Inspection tab, you can add information about the GMP status of the establishment and the date of last inspection. There is also an area to add any additional information about the establishment, which is useful to use if you are aware of any information about an inspection that has been scheduled, currently taking place, or completed but not yet classified. Take a note of this hint on this page, which when clicked, provides additional information on where to find the current inspectional status of a facility. The last tab, Contact, can be accessed by clicking Next at the bottom of the form or selecting the Desire tab at the top of the form. Here, you can provide the name and title of an on-site contact person for the establishment, including their phone number, fax number, and email address. Providing this information implies the facility is ready for inspection unless you have indicated otherwise. Contact information can also be added from the General Application Contact Book. Simply select Copy from Contact Book, 
click on the desired contact from the list and click Select. If your desired contact is not listed, you also have the option of adding new contacts into the contact book by selecting New on this window. Alternatively, contact information can be edited or deleted by selecting the appropriate buttons on the bottom of the window. After selecting the contact, you will see the contact information copied into the appropriate fields in the Add Establishment window. If the contact address is the same as the establishment address, the information can be copied by selecting the button Copy from Establishment Address. If contact information has already been populated and the Copy from Establishment Address button is selected, a warning message will appear to notify potential overriding of data. Lastly, add the new facility by selecting OK. If you have additional establishments to add, you can also click Add Another Establishment, which will add the entered information into the database and clear the form for entry of another establishment. If at any time you select OK prior to entering all the required information, a warning message will pop up detailing the missing pieces of data. You will still be able to save the establishment if you would like to return later to enter the additional information. Establishment information can be edited by first selecting the desired establishment from the ADMS establishment list and then selecting Edit. Alternatively, you can double-click the establishment name in the list to open the same window. On this screen, the establishment information on each tab can be edited. To save any edits, simply click OK when finished. To delete a facility, select the desired facility from the ADMS establishment list and select Delete at the bottom of the form. A warning message will appear to confirm the deletion, which after doing so, will remove the establishment from the list. If an establishment is associated with a supply chain item, you will not be able to delete it. Let's walk through an example. To view the supply chain list, click on Tools in the top menu, hover over ADMS, and select ADMS Supply Chains. We won't discuss all the features of this tool in this webinar. However, if you would like to learn more, we have another webinar which discusses each function of this tool in more detail. If we take a look at the file N311111, we can see that Company H has a supply chain role of a drug product manufacturer. Returning to the ADMS establishment list, you can see you are unable to delete Company H. If we remove the associated supply chain item, we will again be able to delete the facility. The search capabilities are located at the top of the screen. As you can see, it is possible to search by establishment name, DUNS number, and FEI number. Again, there are light bulb icons throughout the page, which when clicked, provide helpful hints about the adjacent field. To search by establishment name, simply begin typing the name of the establishment. The ADMS list will update to include any establishments containing the search text. There might be a slight delay before the list is updated. The sort order can be changed using the drop down in the right hand column. Currently, you can change the sort order by establishment name, FEI number, DUNS number, and country. If you would like to remove all search terms, simply click the clear button. Finally, users have the option of viewing the establishment report for a selected establishment or for all establishments within the list. To view the report, simply select the View button after selecting the desired facility. Only one establishment can be selected. Multiple establishments cannot be selected using Control or Shift. The dialog box, which opens, gives the option to select which establishments to output. As you can see, 
you can explore only the selected establishment or all the establishments in the list. You also have the option of selecting which details to export, which include information about the establishment, inspection, or contact details. Your internet browser should open up and display a report with all the establishment information. This concludes the webinar for using the ADMS establishments list.